Hi everyone, my name is Raquel. I just wanted to give a brief intro before we start and then I'll pass the mic down so my teammates can introduce themselves. This is our web app and I just wanted to say it doesn't look like much yet, <laughs> but what we have accomplished with it, we are happy. We're <laughs> that was an accomplishment to get this far. We struggled with the JavaScript a little bit in the jQuery, but just wanted to let you know that before we start. And I'm going to pass it so we can talk about the concept. <laughs> Hi, my name is Aisha. Basically, we um, created an app where we pulled UN data, and we wanted it to be um, dynamic, where you could select a country. Well, you could pretty much. And uh, we added some facts that um, I guess pretty much could uh, tell you what what the different. Um, so it'll it'll tell you the region, the subregion, capital, area, population, and life expectancy of uh, the country you can select. We didn't add too many countries yet, as uh, Raquel said, it's still pretty new, and um, we look forward to making more um, changes to the app. Hi everyone, my name is Anil Ben, and uh, I'm going to give you a little demo about the app. So basically, this is a drop down menu, we can choose any country from here, let's say Australia, and uh, we can choose any fact about that country, and if we click submit, it gives the map of uh, Australia and the region, it's Oceania, I can add some more facts in this like capital and it submit it gives capital and I can keep adding more and more facts about it uh, it also gives the map of the country or some other related image of that country if I want to choose some other country it gives the hold on I need to refresh the thing So basically, if I hit Germany, it gives me fact about Germany. And uh, our layout is a mobile responsive. We can make it small and it changes the image and uh, goes further down, changes image again. Uh, for our coding, uh, we have uh, used HTML. In HTML, we have used some bootstrap, uh, add some images, and uh, for CSS, we have gave some styling about the <coughs> to make it look more colorful. Uh, our JavaScript code is uh, we have used three APIs. Uh, one is uh, API for REST countries. One is API for Giphy and third one is UN Data API. So basically, on the submit click button, uh, it starts the function, uh, and uh, I have put all the these are the variables where it uh, gives the value of that selected button and uh, puts it in that variable and gives the value, whatever you select. And uh, we have give the Ajax uh, command, and uh, same with the Giphy here. And she has uh, worked on the UN data, which is uh, she's going to talk about it. Hi again. So for the UN data, that one was a little tricky to pull from. It usually gives you a lot of lag. Uh, so if you see here. Uh, we set up, I use the get JSON instead of the Ajax, and they're both similar, pretty much interchangeable, but um, I found this one was easier for me to work with. And what I did here is, let's make this a little bigger. So we have Germany, let's say we want to select life expectancy for that country, as well as population. So Okay, pulled here, we have the population for Germany, and then it's going to give us a, a bunch of data. So you can see the female life expectancy in Germany was 82 years old in the year 2007, and it pulls from uh, males, females, both sexes, and if you go down, you'll see the different years that the data was collected. I kind of found this interesting in case in the future, if anyone wants to say, oh, you know, 
where would I like to live? And if they want to base that off of where do people live longest, <laughs> that might be handy. And that was pulling from the UN data. And the select boxes, you want to talk about that? Sure. I've created a little code about uh, select button. So uh, whenever you add, click the add button, it adds up new options here and in future if you want to add more facts you can add more facts in this one you can add more countries in this one and uh, yeah it's pretty much it we also wanted to use the the Google API of Google Maps so that um, a map would come up every time you click on the country. I'm so sorry. <laughs> uh, sure. Just select button. <laughs> it's uh okay. Where is the sub line? There. This section took s it just took my whole day, I guess. <laughs> uh, somehow it was adding more and more lines instead of one line. It, it was difficult to uh, get multiple result, like multiple selected result, because uh, in API it used to give as a one big uh, word instead of separate words. So that took a while to <laughs> figure out. And uh, I think UN data took uh, quite a long time to get fixed, right? You want to talk about UN data? Uh, yeah, for me, I worked on the UN data. That one kind of, I had trouble with the other two that she worked on, the Giphy and the uh, rest countries. So that one, she kind of nailed that. <laughs> I was struggling with this one, but I did better at this one. So uh, for this, I had to create in the, the get JSON two different variables, one to select the country and one to select the actual fact or metric that we were going to look up. For. So in this case, life expectancy at birth was one field, and then we also had to create a variable for the country. Um, the hardest part for me was setting the add uh, button dynamically, which um, she was able to figure out. So for this, when you click on it, it adds multiple lines. I was able to add the lines, but when you select, it didn't actually load for me. I struggled with that. And I think you had, you know, some struggling with the, the CSS. We were trying to do modals, Moodles. Yeah. That one. You want to talk about that? <laughs> no. <it's not>. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> she has nightmares now. <laughs> Any other questions, comments, thoughts? Yeah. <laughs> Remember how to do that. <laughs> All right. Thanks so much, you guys. Thank